<laughs> no, I'm not from the mountains. I grew up in the suburbs, so being up on Mount Hood was a pivotal moment in my life that helped me connect to the mountains. And for me, on Mount Hood, that's where it all started, 100%. Pretty much just waiting on the clouds to move out and then just stopped in on the mountain. So it's looking good here the next couple days. We're going to get back up there and finish strong. Yeah, just getting some springtime sessions in with my boy Sammy Carlson. We're hungry out here. Once we get there, then we'll spend, you know, a good five to seven hours the first day just building on the jump, getting the in-run kind of all lined up. These jumps aren't built on their own. It takes a solid group effort, and, you know, we're working as a team out there. Second day shaping, getting ready to uh, test this thing out. Come back the following day after that, everybody's fresh, don't have to build any more lips ready to go, and we'll just like, that's when it always goes down. After every jump, we're, you know, boot packing back up to the top of the in run and hitting it again. Every time we go out there, we never really know if it's going to work until we finally hit it. This is some straight fantasy shredding we're doing. But we're just like literally maxing out how much our legs can handle just so that we can try and go as high as we freaking can. It's like rare that you ever see like skiers and snowboarder session and backcountry jumps together in like big production films. We don't give a shit what each other has on our feet, you know. It's like Sammy likes to boost in the air on his skis, I like to boost in the air on my snowboard. We're there for the same thing. The experiences we get out there, like that's what we're out there for. 